G'day guys, Matty Lewenberger here for another week of Louis Masterclass. Uh, today I'm joined by Simon Black and we're going to have a bit of a discussion about handballing. Um, how are you mate? G'day Berg, yeah I'm good mate, pleasure to be here. Now um, what, are, what are some of the key things we should think about when we're handballing? Well Berg, there's probably a couple of different situations in games when a guy, your teammate might be really close to you where you've just got to flick the ball out as quickly as possible, handball the ball as quickly as possible. But when a guy's a bit further away, I always think that it's best to try and spin the ball like you do a drop punt um, because with that you get more control and more feel with the ball out of your, out of your hand, out of your fist um, and by that I mean just yeah, spin the ball like that. So if a guy's more more than three or four metres away I think the importance is is to be able to get it to spin right because and obviously get the ball out in front of your teammates because handballing is about getting the ball to a guy in a better position with more time and space than you've got. Well mate I've got a pair of training glasses here for you, pretty cool. Um, do, you, <laughs> do you mind to just whack them on? and uh, show us what you see when you're handballing. Yeah, no worries, Berg. Well, um, I'll tell you, in, in wet conditions, first of all, what, what I try to do is handball the ball in, around the middle of the ground. Normally you try and handball in dry, in dry conditions around the back, um, but in wet, the ball slips off your knuckles, so that's why I try and handball in the middle of, of, the, of, the, uh, of the ball more so, so um, like so. And it's pretty, pretty basic. You've just got more surface area to hit the ball with in wet conditions, and. Uh, and so it won't slide off your hand as, as much and you'll have more control of the ball. But traditionally, mo most games are dry these days, as we know. Um, so the traditional handball is just handballing the ball sort of at the back there, um, so it spins like it does with a drop punt, similar to a drop punt kick. So here we go. Now, mate, you're quite the trickster with the hands, uh, handballing. Um, the bounce handball, want to fill us in on that one? <laughs> well Berg, that's just basically when you're in a lot of congestion and there's opponents with their arms out and if you've got a teammate that's behind um, the opposition, you know, you obviously can't handball it sort of chest high because they'll, they'll swat it, they'll block it, so you just try and um, punch it into the ground and the rebound off the, off the turf will hopefully bounce it back up. It doesn't always work that way but uh, <laughs> more often than not if you Give it a fair bit into the ground, it'll um, it'll bounce up nicely to your teammate who's you know four or five metres away. Now, mate, forwards uh, they're notorious for not handballing. Who at the lines would be the worst? <laughs> Toddy Banfield, number 18, the big redhead. He just <laughs> loves a goal, doesn't he? he does. <laughs> hey, handballing. <laughs> 